So I've been thinking about men and women today and why there are differences in the achievements that men and women have made over time in different fields. I'm thinking about science and music and writing and a few things. I'm thinking you've got Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, Galileo, Stephen Hawking, Thomas Edison, for example, all in the field of science. And you have composers, musicians, Amadeus, Beethoven, Bach, Chopin, Tchaikovsky. And then I'm thinking of authors, you have Ernest Hemingway, Mark Twain, William Shakespeare. I'm thinking about how men come to mind when thinking about all of these different fields and it's very nearly exclusively men generally when thinking about many different fields particularly science and music and I was wondering about this and um, I've mentioned before that I don't think it comes down to biology I don't think men are simply better at certain things than women and that's how it is I think it's more to do with motivation and the position of men and women in the world. And men are more motivated to achieve than women because their position is different. Women produce children. Men compete with each other to put themselves in a position to be able to procreate. Women are already in that position and the women are the entities which control the game basically. Women are in a different position, so men have to compete with each other to make themselves eligible to procreate. I think it really is as simple as that. This is why men achieve so much more in the world than women. I don't think it comes down to biological differences. I think if there are any differences there, but they're minimal. I think motivation and need to achieve is the difference between men and women.